Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tech Steve, and on this video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up a new iPhone. Now, this is not gonna be a video where it shows you how to transfer files from another device, but I'm gonna show you how to set this up from the time you open up the box as being a brand new user to the Apple ecosystem. So if this is a video for you, please sit back, relax, and let's get started. So owning an iPhone, you're gonna need a few things or any smartphone. First of all, you need something to clean it off because most smartphones are fingerprint magnets. The iPhone will give you a few things that comes with it. When you open up the little case, you get a welcome guide, a SIM card removal tool, and you get some Apple stickers if you wanna stick them on your back window or on your laptop. You're also gonna get your charging cables right here and some headphones. The headphones that come with them are pretty good. You also get a little controller right here and also a microphone. Even though you can charge it with the cable that's provided, I like to have a wireless charger so you can just sit it on the base right here. This is just an example of what you can do, but there's all kinds of different wireless chargers out there. So once this is plugged in, you can set the phone like this on a nightly basis and it'll charge without having any cords. Pretty nice. You also want to have some type of case to put in right away so you don't damage the phone in case you drop it as soon as you get it. So I decided to order this speaking case, which is a basic case, but it really protects it the way I wanted to. And it is QI compatible, so you can use the charging base. And this is what the case looks like that I purchased for it. The first thing you want to do, just press and hold down the power button until it comes on. Now you can slide to find your language. On the newer iPhone, slide upwards. Now this one's not set up on service right now, so I'm going to go ahead and use my Wi-Fi settings. The next thing you wanna do is choose your Wi-Fi and enter the password. Once the password is entered, go ahead and press join, then press done once it connects. Choose your language, then choose your country. Now, since this is a tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up manually. Next, you'll get a disclaimer about data and privacy. Hit continue once you read it. Now, once you set up the face ID. Next, just follow the instructions on the screen. Now the face ID is complete. You can then add glasses and all kinds of other ways if you wanna have different ways to unlock. Now that I have the Face ID set up, let's continue to the next steps. Press continue. And now you wanna enter a passcode. Now if you press passcode options, you can choose numbers, custom numbers, or letters. Let's do the four digit codes. And I'm just gonna enter four ones for easy access for this demo. Now since you're a brand new user, we're gonna set this up as a brand new iPhone. You wanna go ahead and press and I don't have an Apple ID right here, so you can set up an account. And this ID will be used across all Apple's products, including iTunes, as well as the music store and more. Go ahead and press on create a free Apple ID. Next, you wanna go ahead and enter your birthday. And once you press next, go ahead and enter your first and last name. Press next. Go ahead and enter an email account that you're gonna be using on your Apple ID. And this is gonna be used again across all your Apple products. Don't forget it. Now you do have a choice here. You can choose your own email or you can use a free iCloud email. Once you enter your email address, you can turn off if you wanna receive announcements or not. Then press next. Now go ahead and enter your password that you're gonna be used. Again, write this down or something, don't forget it. After you verify it, go ahead and press next again. 
Now you want to enter a phone number so you can verify the Apple phone has belonged to you. I received a verification code. Now let's go ahead and punch it in. Read through the terms and conditions and agree. Now it's creating your Apple ID. On the next screen, you can do an express setup, but let me show you how to customize. On this screen, you can have it to automatically update your data in case you get a new phone or lose it. It'll automatically have some of the previous settings in there. Location service would be used if you're trying to find your phone through an app called Find My iPhone, just in case you lose it. Now keep in mind when you use that service, it will show the last location when it had battery. You can also disable it if you don't want to trust it. The next thing we're going to do is set up Hey Siri. Follow the illustration on the screen. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. Now we have everything just about set up. Let's go to the next step. This is a new feature where you can tell how much time you're spending on different applications, whether social, productivity, emails, it'll kind of help you get into the right direction of how much time you're spending. Let's go ahead and continue. If you want to share your analytics with Apple, you can, or you don't have to share if you don't want to. Now this feature is called True Tone, where it automatically dims the lights according to what it sees in the room through the sensors. You can barely see the difference, but in real life, it looks like uh, amber versus a bright white. Next, you can choose to zoom in on the application. So if you want to see little tiny apps, you would do the standard. And if you want zoomed, it'll make a little bit bigger apps. So there's the standard and a little bit bigger for the zoom. I like the zoom personally. And this is an illustration to show you how to use the new iPhones without the home button. If you have the older iPhones with the home button, this step will not be necessary. And this will show you how to switch in between applications and how to quickly access the controls. Now that it's all set up, welcome to your new iPhone. So this is a basic introductory of how to set up a brand new iPhone. Some other things you'll need to do is go into some of the screens and add your credit card for purchasing applications. But keep in mind, you will be prompt to do so whenever you're trying to buy something. Also, you wanna go into the App Store and make sure everything is updated. To do that, all you would do is press App Store, hit Continue, Hit allow if you like to let it know your location. Hit updates. And once you start install application, everything will pop right here. Right there it says update all. You will be prompted to enter the iTunes ID and password again. And once you sign in, you may get this pop up right here. So you need to go ahead and complete your terms and conditions by toggling that over and then press next. But it will require all your street address to be able to move forward on the screen. Once you enter the information, you can go ahead and continue and your app should start downloading. And there you go. Now under settings, if you see a star, press on it and it needs to verify your email address. Also, you can finish setting up your Apple Pay on your phone. So that's how you set up a new iPhone as being a brand new user. Now, in later videos, I'm going to show you how to transfer files from like different devices, as well as show you how you can use the phone to its full potentials. And if you like this kind of content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.